everyone, my name is Yulia and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to start an Island Home Paradise DLC. I have not started it yet on my island, I just wanted to postpone it so I have a few more items just because every time I start it too early in the game I just feel really frustrated that I cannot give the villagers a good designs because I don't have baths, I don't have any other things unlocked so uh, today I just wanted to do that instead of um, actually making money and uh, building things on my island I'm currently in the process of um, grinding bells because I need to update my storage I'm not even building a lot on my island yet just <laughs> for the same reason because I don't have enough storage and I cannot see all my items because they're just all scattered on the beach. So I will just uh, first show you a little update of my island and then we'll go to participate in some uh, island home paradise content. So as you can see, as you saw in my previous video, this was my entrance to the plaza for now. It's going to be different later. But this is just something is there for the moment. Let's go here. So this is just the entrance to the island for now that I have. You saw in my previous video as well. This is going to change. I know it already, it, that it will. Um, it's not going to be the fence is too close to the beach in my, like for my liking. I think it's going to be a little bit further. Uh, as you can see, my resident services is very close to my beach, so I will have to design around it for the first time ever, because before my islands, I always had resident services far away from my um, airport and from my beaches. But I thought it's going to be a good challenge, you know, you can't... I personally get stuck um, on designing the same thing over and over again if I'm not faced with a challenge. So let's go and I'll show you another thing that I did. It's just a little path. So if you go here, just from the airport, I just did a little path to Lolly's house and to Nook's Cranny. This is the only farm that I have on my island for now. This is the only crop field here. I just pick it and I sell it to Nook Twins right away. Um, I wanted to test this path with this fall custom design and I think it looks beautiful. I know fall is almost over and I already downloaded a winter custom design. So as soon as winter hits, I'm going to replace my fall one with my winter one. And hopefully, fingers crossed, all the designs that I put down are going to be replaced with some snowy ones. So Loli's house is just right here. I decorated it very slightly, just so she has some yard. I already know that I will move her house later, because she is way too close to resident services for my liking. But for now, I think it's good. I think it's fine and it's very sweet that, because she just likes to hang out around her house and sing and do yoga. So I just wanted to give her a little bit of a yard. So let's go and see if we can go and start our island designer home paradise dream what is the name i don't know before we do it though i have another update about the island as you can see i have a campsite villager and it is tipper she is so cute i do really really like her and I decided, you know, I know that a campsite villager, if they just randomly show up on your island, if it's not an amiibo, they might kick out any random villager for you. So I decided to risk it. So I played games with her forever. I cut it out because I kept losing. I played for like 25 minutes and I kept losing. But in the end, I finally won single game and she agreed to move to my island after me literally begging and her laughing at me for doing so. So she went and to resident services and she told me that Aurora wants to move up. So <laughs> I was thinking like, that's fine. In the previous video, I already kind of had a beef with Aurora because she invited Hippo to her house so I thought probably Aurora just didn't really like me and probably Hippo creeped her out as well by showing up to her house so I just understand so Aurora is moving out from my island and Tipper is moving in yay I came to say goodbye when she was in boxes but you know 
She only lived in my island for a day. Then I went to Quinn's house and guess who was there? If freaking Hippo will drive Quinn from my island, I will end him. She's already in relationship with Avery. I can't have that happening. So this plot, as you can see, is already occupied by Pipper. She is moving in next day. Um, I also designed a new island flag. I just wanted to give some sort of personality to it. So I decided to do a little pixel art of a little plant in a pot just to symbolize sorrel. I've never grown sorrel in a pot myself, but there you go. Um, then I saw um, Lolly talk to Drake. They're being friends. Uh, they were discussing being butterflies and flying around the flowers. It was super cute. Okay, back to Happy Home Paradise now. Hi, welcome. You must be a newbie that Lottie was talking about, right? That's right. Everyone is so ready for you. The office isn't far from the pier, so let's get going. Yay, Nico is so cute. I'm playing at night. It's Friday night. That's how I spend my Friday nights, just so you know. Okay, do I go in? What do I do? This is the office. Go on in. Okay. Ah, welcome. I've been waiting for you, Yules. And welcome back to you too, Nico. Thanks for leading the way. You'll help Yules out, won't you? I mean, sure. Yeah, d d please say yes. Yeah, please say yes, because it's weird. Of course, great to have you on the team. Just remember, I'm your guy if there is anything you need. Next up is Wardell. He's in charge of the managing furniture, uh, recruitment, and other related matters. Hello. Okay, that's the whole team. I just know the four of us are going to do great things together. Go team! Oh, Lottie, you're so cute. Yay, go team! Oh, Nico. <laughs> it's policy to wear a uniform when you're working. You'll find yours in the locker upstairs next to the mirror. All right, just call me when you're finished changing. Okay, let's go, let's go. So let's see. Let's design a beachy outfit. Although it is fall on this island too, I think it even gets snowy there. Okay. I really do like this outfit. Maybe a pineapple hat. And this. Socks and sandals? I feel like that's something I would want to do. Nope. Mm, no. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Oh, great pose. Your butt to the camera. Let's go. Okay, I'm back, I'm back. Let's go. Ooh, you look so official and the fit is just right. Fantastic. Well, now that you're all decked out in the official garb, let me just say, welcome to Paradise Planning. Now, I think it's best to learn on the job. I'd like you to get started right away. I'm here to help you as much as I can, but remember, I'm here. What I mean is, I can't leave the office. Oh no, Lottie, what's going on? All right, now all we need to do is find some clients. <gasps> oh, it's a Louise again. I always have her as my first villager. I heard a rumor it can be another villager. Never saw it, actually. Welcome! Well, isn't this a darling little office? I've heard this is a place to be when one is looking for a vacation home tailored to one's needs, yes? Oh, nice, nice. Ah, oh, the breeze is delightful here. What a wonderful spot to conduct business, dude. 
you'll see my idea is placed like this. My relaxing reading room by Eloise. Yeah, I have designed this one so many times and I always get so frustrated because I don't have enough items. So let's hope this time I can do something nice for her. Okay. And we will jump straight in into the speed build of Eloise's house. Um, I have built this one as I said a few times and yeah, to my disappointment, you don't get any extra items. For some reason I thought that because you unlocked some things on your island already, you will get extra items, but you don't. You don't get any of the things you purchased from Timmy and Tommy like you later do or things that you might have found, just like things in your catalog that you can later use in Happy Home Paradise. Um, yeah, you could just use the items that they gave you, which is a pretty limited amount. And um, this time I decided to put the bookshelves in the middle of the room. Usually I always put them to the back and it just always looks the same. I don't know, just wanted to have some fun with her house, finally do something interesting for her. So um, yeah, you can just see me designing all the things. I put the coffee table first but later realized that it's not really walkable because I blade tested it a little bit and I decided to change it. Surprisingly, you will see how many uh, houses I will I do today. And this one was the longest one for some reason. <laughs> it took me the longest time to design and I don't even think that it was the most successful out of uh, all of them. There was one that I really liked uh, I will point it out later. But yeah, uh, even though from all the Eloise's houses that I've ever designed, I do think that this one is the most cute. So you can see me play testing it and I decide to just remove some shelves and instead put a, uh, put in a table and put a TV on top of it just so there's a seating area there. I don't know. I thought it looked nice. I thought it looked cute. I thought Eloise is gonna have fun there with her weird bangs but <laughs> sorry she's a sweetie but there are some villagers with just these like front bangs and no other hair which is a very interesting choice so of course a montage is my favorite part they're always so cute how they do that and she's enjoying her plants and her books honestly such a vibe i love the apartment with plants and books in it who doesn't Okay, now that we've done the first house, I really want to see who's on the beach. Let's just get to work. I'm just going to try to speedrun, but gracefully, okay? I just want the villagers to have really, really nice houses this time, because usually my all of my vacation homes are such a mess, so I will try to do my best. I'm ready to work, body. Okay, then please change into your uniform. Thank you, Lottie. Thank you in believing in me. Like, this derp face and you think I can do it, I guess. Well, you know, let's go. Nico, you're the bestest, sweetest boy in the world. I just, oh my god, love you so much. Look at you. Look at you, you're so cute. Okay, let's go. So, first of all, <gasps> I can't. You're here. You... You asked to move out of my island and now you want a vacation home? Are you joking? Are you? Miss? I want a place filled with all sorts of warm, cozy baskets. You just, you wanted to leave and now you're here? Hi there, I'm Bertha. I know who you are. You design vacation homes, right? I think I'd like for my vacation home to feel something like this bungalow of cozy baskets so for some reason um the clip where i designed the front yard did not save but it saved the clip when i was taking all the pictures <laughs> for my thumbnails and stuff like that and for my instagram so you can kind of see what i did here pretty simple little beach just how i like it usually so I put one of the baskets, a picnic one, outside just because I didn't think that it will suit her home. And I started designing her very rattan weaved furniture house. Like this is such 
a furniture that we furniture house it is crazy it probably sounds like you're dragging something on gravel every time you move in any of those furnitures i don't know it just associates with me because when i was in university i used to rent an apartment that had rattan furniture on the balcony and one time my dad asked me to um dog sit for his dog who was a very crazy puppy and uh, when i had to leave for my classes i would have to like put him at the balcony it was a, a balcony with um insulation so it was warm there there were uh, there was uh, windows there so it wasn't like an open uh, type of balcony you know and uh, so he was fine there but because there was so much rattan furniture there he would just chew through the whole thing so as you can see, I did design it pretty quickly compared to Eloise's house. And here is a little montage of everything that's happening. <laughs> she, I think she enjoys it. She even sniffed some fruit, as you can see. I put some yellow accents there. I thought it was very nice, super cozy. I thought it was nice. I thought it was cool. I hope, she, I hope you like it, Bertha, even though you just moved out and did not even recognize me. Oh my god. Okay. Now that we've played all the intros and everything, we can just go into the... <gasps> I want my vacation home to be full of cute, lovely stuff. Yes. Puddles, please. I just want to design a house for you. She wasn't my previous silent. I do <laughs> really, really like Puddles. She's the cutest. Let's chat. Squee, you're the best. Now let's get to working on my vacay place. For my dream vacay place, I'm thinking of something like... Oh, cute! Look at the piano! I will be able to order it after that from Mordell. Oh my god. Yes, okay. So this is the house that I actually enjoyed the most, just because of the color scheme. I like the mint and the pink together. Just gave me such a uh, um, vaporwave vibes all of this house i just oh my god if i could visit that house i would definitely do that for like a vacation i think it is a perfect vacation home <laughs> for me personally i think it is super cute i gave her some pink fences i gave her some blue fences i gave her some beach chairs just everything that you need for your good vacation and her house i just did it as cute as she wanted me to uh, you'll see me taking a lot of pictures here because oh my god look how cool this looks it's so nice and i was really happy that i got to design her house because now not only that i have this awesome piano that i'll be able to order from Mordell, i will also have the nordic set because as you can see she has a nordic couch and nordic um, table already unlocked so at least I will get those because this is obviously like it is one of the best sets in the game definitely it's just uh, so beautiful and I'm really happy that I got it although I did struggle with the layout I don't think I don't know if I did it too well I'm not a very good interior designer I'm more of exterior designer for Animal Crossing um, which is interesting because in The Sims for example because I love The Sims. I've been playing them since The Sims 1, when it just came out, uh, when the first game came out. I've been playing since then. And in The Sims, I'm more of an interior designer. But in Animal Crossing, it's a little bit more challenging for me. So I'm trying to push my boundaries and do something, uh, something interesting, something cool or cute. And um, I thought her house in the end came together, even though I did struggle with how to make it better. But um, yeah, I really liked it. Put some this uh, uh, cherry jello <laughs> on her table. Put some nail art set on her uh, little vanity. Because I thought maybe, you know, she's a peppy girl. Maybe she would like a nail set. And uh, you can see her little montage here as well. Where she's all cute and happy in her just a yellow hearts room. I don't know, I love bottles. <laughs> She's one of my favorite peppy girls, honestly. Not a lot of them that I like, but she is definitely one of them. One of the good ones. I love her. Oh, look at her, so cute. 
And that will be it for tonight for Island Home Paradise Designing. And uh, this is it for my video as well. Uh, if you liked it, please press like, um, subscribe to my channel. Um, I do have uh, a bit of subscribers now because of my recent video. People started joining and at the time of recording, I now have 45 subscribers. Yay! It's crazy because before that, I had 7 and all of them were people I knew in real life. And so, even though, of course, I do appreciate them following me as well, I knew that they would follow even if I didn't have any videos on my channel. So welcome to everyone who joined. Um, comment something, let me know what you like, leave some suggestions, or tell me how much you hate Hippo as well. <laughs> and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye!